Hello peeps. This is Stephanie Jeanette Bradley. See the golf clubs over there, ready to go. So as you can tell, I've been spending the past week or so preparing to move and have moved. Drove from a pretty far away place. And uh, so wish me luck starting over yet again. And I just wanted to touch base with you all and to um, encourage you to go ahead and um, play golf. So remember, we're aiming for T to green in three. T to green in three. Shape your shots around that goal. If it becomes absolutely impossible on a hole, you know, a four par or five par, that's extremely demanding. Don't waste your time shooting into the water or into a hazard. But your, your goal is to design your golf repertoire, your abilities around the goal of green to tee in three. So with your course management, think of the end in mind. Start with the end in mind. So you see where the flag is. Go back to where your approach shot needs to be made from in order to get it to the flag, into the hole. You know, and therefore, what does your tee shot need to end? And then choose your sticks in accordance with those goals. Whether you choose a driver or one of the woods to tee off with or even an iron depending on the distance of the hole obviously and make sure you go ahead and take a time take the time to choose an archetype course so that way no matter where else you play you have a frame of reference a tangible frame of reference in terms of slope um, direction of the hole challenges in the hole you know you know um, where the sand traps are or the water hazards or rock hazards etc overall slope of the course and remember to read the greens before you putt now obviously you cannot touch them with your hand learn to feel the greens through your shoes um, but notice any slopes notice any undulations that your ball, your ball may have to uh, your ball may encounter from the point where it's lying into getting it into the hole. Um, know that if it's if there is a downhill slope, if it's lying downhill, it's going to be quicker than if it's uphill. If the grass on the green is lying down away from your ball toward the hole, that's going to make for a faster putt as well and the opposite is true if the grain of the green is either facing up or lying toward your ball then that's your ball is going to meet resistance on its way to the hole okay so take that into consideration as well try most of all not to over shoot it very far so that shows a, a misread as well as misdirection uh, a misgauge rather of the power to put behind the ball so um, don't fret but also very uh, no knowingly approach the hole or approach the putter shot in each shot actually so one other thing I wanted to mention and I'm just gonna make this a quick one because I'm trying to re-establish these digitals I have everything's gone kaput on me otherwise I would have loaded it up for you on Monday anyway okay so ah I remembered okay so remember that between each shot allow your body the opportunity to weigh the stick your next stick you're gonna use okay so that would be using and you know, that would be by 
practice shots. So that's based on my theory that, like, if you see, like, a professional, like, a really awkward shot that's way off, he probably didn't allow his muscles to take the time to reconfigure for that, the weight of that particular stick, okay, as well as the aim. Um, I don't think that it's the focus as often, you know, because professionals know how to focus. So I don't, I don't personally think it, that it would be by focus that's the problem. I think it has to be um, along with my theory of way allowing your body opportunity to reconfigure itself in terms of your muscle memories, your muscle memory and your psychological reference um, in, in making the shot. Again, reconfiguring the weight of that particular stick, as well as the aim and the distance, etc. So don't forget to hold the stick for a little while as you're using practice strokes uh, as a way of giving your body time to set up and, and, and reconfigure for the appropriate uh, power to give the shot. Okay, so torque well and get your archetype course. Enjoy it. Enjoy the game. Um, you will enjoy it more, though, the better your score gets. gets. And have an excellent weekend. I know there's some great games coming up. Um, I believe more players will be on the field than usual, so that should be fun. Had to be starting tomorrow. And then we have Wimbledon coming up for all our tennis fans. So that's going to be interesting as well. Have a great evening. Stephanie Jeanette Bradley signing off on SJ336. St. John 336, the promise of everlasting life.